Ready? But it's twice the size now. Green roof? Yep. Mr. Fisher, I just thought you were a bass fisherman. <laughs> Funny guy. One of these pliers. <laughs> That's terrible. Nobody likes those. Upset side. <laughs> That's how we do. If anybody asks, this is on Bass Reaper Baits. Whoa. Thing was hardly hooked, too. I need a picture of this so I can Absolutely. social media this thing. That is not a bad fish. What do you say that is? Find out. This is 20 inches is my biggest small yet on the river. Nice I don't think this is quite. I go 18. Ooh. We're at 18. Top part of the tail. A little over. That's not bad. It's really nice. Good job, man. Big was it? A little over 18. Wow. A rock that, bass. That, wow. That is the smallest rock bass I've ever seen. It is big. Hey, but we're on the board. Oh, my God. I hooked him in the bottom lip, which is not always easy. Barely hooked. It's a beauty. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Another small one. Oh, he's a little guy. Still. Oh, stop what you're doing. Oh, okay, we're good. Nothing like yours. <laughs> That's pretty nice though. Yeah, I'd say that. I don't think it's bad. But it's a pretty good one. What you catching on? 
What'd you catch it on? Dead rig. Dead rig. What color? Just plain black. It was recording. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I set the hook on this thing and it didn't even move. Wow. Oh, man. That's not too bad. That's not as big as it looked in the water, but still a nice fish. At least four pounds. Got a cinematic release on this thing. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Been out for about three hours now. How many how many fish things we got in the boat? 15 Almost. to 20 maybe? 20. Yeah. I was going to say 20. Yeah, well, you've really been lighting it up uh, the last hour or so. You're just, you're on fire. Um, color choice. It's all about choice. the color, color, color choice. But, uh, yeah, we got about 20. Nice size. A nice smallie. A couple nice large mouth. Um, we're catching them on an end that he has not caught one on. Have you caught them out there? On the north end of Roosevelt, you typically don't find smallmouth bass, and I think that we got about five in a row on the north end, yeah, um, right, which yeah. is crazy. It's usually you don't catch them out there at all. If you do get one, it's rare, but today um, we managed to find them. Uh, that was the the crazy part about it. So, been a good day. We're hopefully can get uh, most experienced guy out here with us. Uh, a couple fish, and so we'll keep at it here. looking for oh i'm trying to remember where it was i was out here fishing with my cousin julie i think it was back there but there were guys on this side of the lake they had built a water slide uh -huh. from the top of the hill down to the lake <laughs> and it, it's like they use you know a big roll of that black plastic or whatever two by fours to create this whole thing yeah and they would just launch probably 30 feet off the end of that thing and just <laughs> sprawled out everywhere because they can't control themselves they have so much momentum that's on the lake it's crazy oh we need to get up in that tree there that's good I, mean, I, from here, but I'll move up <laughs> I was saying get a little closer for grandpa so he can get up on that side This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Oh, well, I heard you. On the tube. You heard he hooked? Oh, you hooked him through his lip? <laughs> it's not hooked at all. I'm just wrapped around his, the inside of his gill plate. That is definitely the winner of the day. Ugh. This is a nice one, guys. I caught that on the two and three quarter inch MG lure. On a Ned rig, 12 pound test. This is why we do what we do. No, I need to like back it up. This is back what up. we come out here for. This is this is what it's all about. Stick fishing at its finest. Been having a great year, pulling a lot of them to the boat. Had a few breakoffs today. There are some huge ones in Roosevelt Lake in Odie, Minnesota. If you get your chance to fish for sticks, if you get the opportunity, come to Roosevelt Lake. You can't go wrong. That's a really nice dorsal from pectoral. Yeah.
I mean, you can't beat that. It's got some weird little slugs on it. Look at this right here. Gelatinous. Maybe it's not even a slug. Yeah, uh, look at that. Slime. Jellyfish skin skin. Yeah. What's it done? Let's, let's do a cinematic release. Yeah. Look at this guy. Just Going back to our natural habitat. Like the Mr. Fish Crunch was saying, we had a great day. That was the first time I have fished that lake since. Pfft, well, how old was I? Three? Or young? You said young. Was I younger than three? I was young. I wasn't, uh. Wasn't, uh. I don't know, that was a long time ago, but um, it was a good day. Got a couple nice smallies, nice large mouth. Um, know, yeah, Bass Reaper's killing it right now with that watermelon or uh, green pumpkin watermelon, you know, with the flake kind of colors going on. So it's good, good colors, good, good. So make sure you guys pick yourself up. That's, I mean, I've heard some other people too that that color is killing it right now. Um, so obviously it's going to hit well with our green lakes up here in the Midwest, but, uh, so I appreciate you guys watching another Basswood episode. This was a special day fishing with my grandpa and my dad, three generations of wood right here. So it was a good day. Um, wish my grandpa obviously could have caught more fish, but you know, it is what it is, but I'll just have to make another trip out here. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya. Whoa.